Okay, hello everyone. <laughs> so I have a new planner here. I have not that long ago made a video about how I've been using the Hobonichi Weeks for many years now and it's just the size that I like and the, the format that I like and that I didn't really have an interest in changing. Well, <laughs> I'm actually kind of curious to try something new this year, it turns out, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. We'll see how it goes. It might not work out. I have a backup, uh, which may seem a little excessive at this point, but I do have a 2025 Hobonichi Weeks that I already started filling out with uh, school breaks and we're going to see Itzhak Perlman in January, which is very exciting. Brian and I have now seen Hilary Hahn, Yo-Yo Ma, and now Itzhak Perlman, which is, I don't know, I feel we're, we're very lucky. Anyways, so I'm thinking I'm going to transfer those dates into this new calendar, and we'll see how it all works out. So this is an A6 Hobonichi Hon. H-O-N. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Uh, it is there. It's kind of a new design. It's H-O-N. says it all on the inside here. It has a harder cover. And I don't know. It's a Hobonichi Techo layout, I believe. It's just that my understanding is the only difference maybe is that it has the hardcover? I'm not, not really certain. So what I was thinking is since I have been journaling, it's just I don't journal very much. I thought maybe I could actually once and for all try doing a daily journal and just do a little daily entry and see how that goes. Uh, in the past, I've really wanted to do this, but I was writing so much at that time uh, that it didn't really work. So now that I'm writing a lot less, maybe this would actually work out for me. And then it still has the month at a glance, which I really like. I already mentioned this too, that I I don't actually use the weeks much, so uh, which is just ironic. I just really like the month at a glance. I like the the, the, uh, what do you call it? The dimensions of the Hobonichi Weeks. I like this narrow size. So that's really what has always been a draw for me. So anyways, this is all just an experiment. I have the cover. I don't remember what this one is called, but this is by Hobonichi as well. It's a plastic cover, which is also a bit different than what I often gravitate towards. It looks a little bit like leather. I think it could be fun to have maybe a postcard in here because you can kind of see through it a little bit to have some cool picture there. Uh, and maybe even on the back because there's a little pocket here as well. That could ultimately end up being used for stickers or receipts or whatever. I do tend to carry a lot of random pa papers with me in my in my planner, but there's also space to do that in, on the inside of the flap and here as well. So uh, let's just do some writing. Now this is the new paper. It's kind of interesting. I did a test page here and I did a test page here. And one of the things that <laughs> is really strange because this feels like the original Tomoe River paper. This, however, feels very different to me. This feels like the Cosmo, I think it was called Cosmo Air. I did not like the Cosmo Air paper. It made all of the pen lines much thicker and it felt like my writing was a bit sluggish, like it was dragging a little bit in the mud. And you can see here is the Muji gel pen and here it is on this test page in comparison to here. 
I don't know how, how well it shows up on paper, but or on video, <laughs> that is. Uh, but I think it looks much fatter of a line here than it does on this paper. The, my gosh, the fountain pen. This is a fine fountain pen, and it looks so thick here. In fact, let me go grab something. Here is that same fountain pen on the original Tomoe River paper, and look at how much finer those lines are. So I was really disappointed. This is the Pilot Custom fine, also really fat. I was like, I hate this paper. And then I was like, oh, it feels too strong of a word. I don't really like that word, hate. It's so, such an ugly word. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, I was just really disappointed with how all of the pens felt on this paper. Oddly, they don't feel the same on this paper, even though I know in 2025, what Benici said, that would be the first year that they would be using the new paper. So I don't, I don't know what's up with that. Kind of, it's a, an interesting to have that kind of inconsistency, especially since Hobonichi has always been extremely consistent. All right, anyways, I also was thinking that I might just try using a Muji gel pen for my planning system this year. That is, it's a year is a long time. So of course that is all subject to change. Uh, yeah, yeah, I hate, I hate making those kinds of statements because life can change so dramatically uh, within a year. <laughs> um, but Right now, I'm inspired to just use the Muji. I re I've been really enjoying the Muji gel pen, uh, but up until this point, I've actually just been using the Uni Multi Pen, Uni Jet Stream Multi Pen for my planning system. So come December, I will be moving into my new planner. The only thing that I do worry about with the Muji pen is that it's a little bit juicier, so I don't want it to smear. I get, I feel really precious when it's a brand new planner. I feel like I have to be very neat and tidy and careful and cautious with it. And then by the end of the year, I, I really don't care how it looks. <laughs> it's funny that way. We have a nice chunk of time for winter break. The Hone Hobonichi came with this little writing board. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. I haven't decided. It has a pen clip. And on it, like, I guess the purpose of this is really just to put the pen clip into because it's very small. I don't think any pen would fit. Well, no, there are some pens that are super skinny that would fit in that but I think ultimately it's just for the clip. Uh, I don't know, because this holder also has, or cover, also has a little clip here. 
and having two clips feels a bit redundant and I don't know if I like the idea of having the two kind of poking out so I don't know we'll see I also noticed this paper is really like it sticks to itself and it's been very hard to turn whereas the original Hobonichi paper and this maybe I don't know I feel like I'm having an easier time with this paper but maybe I'm just being being silly I don't know Here in Tucson, we have what is called rodeo break. So back in the day, we would have a big rodeo in town. And it was such a big deal that people would just skip out on school and work to go to the rodeo parade and watch the rodeo. And so Tucson decided to just cancel school for that, for those days, so that people could just go to the rodeo and they wouldn't be missing out on school. And while we do still have the rodeo, I don't think nearly as many people participate <laughs> in the parade or the rodeos. We still get the break, which I am very grateful for. I've actually never been to the rodeo parade nor the rodeo. I always feel like I should go just to know. In March, we have spring break and we may be going to New York City to visit our friends and that would be so awesome. April standardized testing begins, boo. Actually, it's kind of fun because it's so different for the kids and the teachers. Like we don't, we don't do tests at all at our school. I work at a Montessori school. And so for most of us, it's actually really fun because it's a, it's a novelty. Oh, and this is kind of sad, but also good. Six months since Bean's implant. So one thing that's really common in ferrets as they get older is to develop tumors on their adrenal glands. And in the past, this was a very uh, bad thing to have happen because it, it often did not end well for the ferret. And one of the first earliest symptoms is they get itchy and they start losing hair on the tip of their tail and that was happening with bean and I freaked out and I yeah bean is my whole my whole world I, I love him so much and luckily times are a little different and there's a new implant that actually shrinks the tumor and is able to correct things for the most part and so he has he's received an implant and his fur has already grown back it like grew back within the week and he seems totally normal and so that's good but he will have to have an implant the implant replaced for the rest of his life every six months to a year we'll just have to keep checking in with the vet
April is an awful month in terms of the school year because by that time, all of the teachers are really burnt out and so ready for the end of the year. And it is the one month where we don't have any days off. I think, I think it's the one month and it's such a bummer. I really, really wish we could just get like some kind of freebie. We have a no school day, but it's a teacher's workshop. So it's still work. So April just really drags on. April and May just really drag on. And then all of a sudden, it's the last day of school. So that is it, I suppose. Thank you for <laughs> planning with me. Uh, I think the Muji pen is drying a lot faster than I realized, but I'm a little bit paranoid because like I said, I feel, I always feel a little bit precious with my planners when, when we first start out and they're all crisp and clean and brand new. I don't like how stiff this tab is and it is kind of fiddly, but I'm hoping with time it will get a little bit softer and more flexible and not be so so difficult to work with. And that's it. I'll talk to y'all later.